let's say you came across this question in your jam exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together a gas x all right diffuses twice as fast as gas y under the same condition listen carefully this question is very easy all right if the relative molecular mass of x meaning of gas x is 28 calculate the relative molecular mass of gas y now this question is extremely very easy it is important for you to know perfectly the topic to which that question is from and from the look of things this question on the board is under the gas laws all right but specifically a gas law because you know we have different gas laws but specifically it's on one of the gas laws called the graham's law of diffusion what did i say this question is from a very important gas law called the graham's law of diffusion i'm going to tell you why i said that it is very easy just listen and follow instructions now how did i know that this question is from the graham's law of diffusion i believe you saw in this question diffuses so it is a confirmation that oh this question is actually from the gas law but specifically this law so the first question we ask ourselves we have to know what the graham's law of diffusion states i already have a full video lesson here on my channel that explains everything you should know about gas laws from the introduction from the scratch down to you, all the gas laws if you know with a lot of practice examples so make sure you go watch this video here on the screen after watching this lesson because at the end of solving this question i'm going to give you all practice questions to solve and provide the answer in the comment section so let's go straight into this question now this must be noted about the graham's law of diffusion you should know here that the graham's law of diffusion states that listen state that the rate all right listen carefully rate is symbolized as arrow so the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional whenever we talk about inverse proportionality it will be one over something i believe you are following me whenever you hear something is inversely it's going to be this proportionality sign and then you say one over that thing i'm about saying so the rate of diffusion of a gas according to graham's is inversely proportional to the square root of its density or relative molecular mass so just listen there are two formulas you can bring up from what i just said i said that the rate of diffusion of the gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its density density symbolized as d or we can simply say that the rate of diffusion of the gas is inversely all right the rate of diffusion of the gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its relative molecular mass or we simply just say molecular mass so let's just write it properly r-o-m-m r-o-m-m simply means relative molecular mass i believe you are fully this question is very simple so if you look at this question properly you see that we are interested with relative molecular mass formula i believe you are following me of course diffusion has two parameters it relates one of them is you know rate of diffusion is inverse proportional to the square root of its density and in this question they don't mention anything like density so we will not have to use this fresh one though it is correct but we are not going to use it are you there so because you can see that in this question they have mentioned relative molecular mass then we are going to use this formula and just watch i'm going to teach you how it's done so based on this mathematical expression gotten from the law we can bring out a formula from this just listen carefully after bringing out the formula i'm going to bring that here i'm going to also tell you to give me out the formula here are you there it is very simple just watch closely just watch whenever you see something inversely proportional just to what i'm about doing in the course of writing out the formula we are going to use to solve this question based on the parameter i saw i'm going to explain properly i'll be using one and two but when we start solving the question what they gave to us the symbols we saw in the question that's what we are specifically to use i'll be using one and two just watch now this is what i mean so from this you know my first expression we'll get the formula to be arrow one divided by arrow two because in gas laws generally relate you know two set of gases that's why i'm having one and two is equal to please watch is equal to the square root of relative molecular mass two divided by relative molecular mass one 
please listen. Remember, this law is inversely proportional. As we are going from one to two, so we are going in the other side from two to one. If it was direct, here there was one and two, here will become one and two. I believe you understand. Though also I can actually show you mathematically, but it's best you just know what is happening. This is chemistry. This is not maths, all right? Just know what is happening. Whenever you hear inverse, you know that it's going to go from one to two to and two to one. Do you understand? If it was direct, and Graham's is not direct proportionality, it's going to be one, two, one, two. I believe you are following me. It is very simple. So what do we do next? Because you can see what I brought up from this, you know, from this down expression. You do the same for this up one. You can bring out the formula based on what I said. You know, remember this density. So I want everybody here to bring out the formula based on this, you know, expression gotten from the law we've stated now let's go back to the question and read the question says a gas x wow that was the first gas i saw so i told you that i'm going to use one and two first but in some of this question that one and two, i'm going to remove it and be putting what they gave to me and they said a gas x that was the first gas i saw so then i'm going to simply remove one and put that gas x just follow this thing is very simple all right diffuses twice will come to that this twice is very important will come to that as fast as gas y gas y is another gas then i'm going to listen now before we even talk about you know the two part you can see here was one before i change it to x so this place that is still one for the relative molecular mass should be removed and written as x do you understand what's happening? So for this rate 2, which is arrow 2, you can see it was the, the second gas I saw was gas Y. Are you, are you following me? So then I'm going to remove 2 and simply pull Y, whereby the other part that has 2 in it, I'm going to remove it and also pull Y. I believe you are following me because we need all of these things to solve this question. You can see the formula we've derived. But when you are forming the formula for the just use one and two based on what I've explained, it's very simple. The way we did this, that's how you should do this as well. Now let's go back to the question. The question says a gas X diffuses twice. Wow, the gas X diffuses twice, two times as fast as this. So this is how it works. Just listen. Let us write out the parameters we need to solve this question. It is very simple. So here I'm going to write out the parameter arrow x and then arrow y listen the other is relative molecular mass y and this that one relative molecular mass x so equal to equal to equal to and equal to and let's write out all the parameters based on the question and then come back to the formula input and make whatever we are looking for subject of formula for us to get the answer to this question I'm going to give you all practice questions, so get ready. So, it is very simple. The question just stated, give us all what we need. A gas X diffuses twice as gas Y. So, this guy diffuses twice as fast as gas Y. Whenever you get, whenever you get diffuses, it has to do with the rate of, you know, diffusion of that gas. That's why you can see we use arrow. So, they told us that gas X diffuses twice as gas Y. Now, whenever you see that, you always make that gas that, you know, that one diffuses twice as the other. So, the other that is diffuses twice as. This now, gas X diffuses twice as gas Y. So, this gas Y will be one. Are you there? Now, let's take another example. Let's say this gas X diffuses twice or three times as fast as gas Y. What will you write for gas X? Three, whether gas Y remain one. Do you understand what's happening? That's how you solve. Whenever you see your own practice question, that's how you should solve it. And whenever you see questions in the jam exam, like in this aspect, that's how you should solve it. It is very simple. Are you there? Just watch. So moving further, what becomes the relative molecular mass of Y? Let's see what we are looking for. First of all, let's progress. So then I said that if the relative molecular mass of X, wow, is 28. So they gave us the relative molecular mass of X to be 28. The question, can't play the relative molecular mass of Y. So we're looking for the arrow N, N of Y. This question is very simple. So let's tackle it and solve it together and get ready for your own practice question. So from this question, we are looking for the relative molecular mass of Y. That's why it's question mark here. So moving further, what do we do? It's very simple. Let's input our parameter. So the rate of diffusion of gas um, X will be 2. I believe you're following me. So 2 divided by rate of diffusion of gas Y is 1. I believe you're following. It's very simple. So 2 over 1 is equal to all roots of, you can see how we got the formula initially, into a relative molecular mass of Y, which is R O N M Y. I don't know. Okay, that's what we are looking for. So it's remain unknown. Divided by relative molecular mass of X, which is 28. You can see there. So here it becomes 28. 
I believe you are following me. What do we do next? Remember, we are looking for relative molecular mass of Y. So again, Y, what do we do next? It's very simple. Whenever you come across something like this, the thing to do, because we are trying to eliminate this square root so as to make sure that we can easily make ROMM subject of formula without stress. What we simply do is to square both sides of the equation. You are squaring them. I believe you know what square means, all right? Just listen, just follow instructions. So I'm going to square both sides. So first of all, this side of the equation, I will square it. Are you there? This other side of the equation, I'm going to square both sides. That's what I mean. So this square, we cancel this square root. I believe you are following. This thing is very simple. We have squared both sides. So this square I used to square this side as to remove the square root. That was the reason why I actually squared both sides of the equation. So based on what we just did, what are we getting? It's very simple. It's going to be this. Just follow instructions. They are all very easy. So remember, we're getting something like 2 divided by 1. You know, bracket or squared is equal to this. We freed the relative molecular mass of y and also divided by 28. We've made them free. This is what I mean. So we just write ROMM of y divided by 28. That was the reason why I actually squared both sides of the equation by eliminating the square root. Hope you understand. It's very simple. And when I give you all practice questions, this is the same step you should follow. This question is very simple. All right, moving further, we now have to use these feathers here to, you know, attack these two numbers here. This is what I mean. Actually, it's very simple. This square you are saying affects both the numerator and the denominator. So first of all, you're going to say 2 squared and 1 squared. 2 squared means that 2 raised to the power of 2, all right, 2 raised to the power of 2, meaning 2 times 2, hope you understand now, 2 raised to the power of 2, that's 4, I believe you are following me, so here become 4 divided by, this 2 is affect this one down, so it's going to be 1 raised to the power of 2, all right, 1 raised to the power of 2 means 1 times 1, hope you are following me, if it's 1 raised to the power of 3, it will be 1 times 1 times 1, hope you understand, 1 raised to the power of 2 is simply 1, meaning 1 times 1 is 1, so underneath here is T is T1. Hope you get how this was evaluated. Is equal to you know relative molecular mass of y divided by 28. This question is simple. What do we do next? Make this subject ROMM of y. When we make ROMM of y subject of formula, what do we have? It is simple. It's going to be four times this, four times this divided by this. Hope you know now. When you have cross multiply, this is cross multiply, you're not divided by this. So it's going to be four times 28 divided by one. So four times 28 divided by one. That is one relative molecular mass of y will not be equal to one, one, two. This is the answer. So this question is very simple. I believe you understand how this question was tackled. When I give you a practice question, you should follow the same approach. It is very easy. So get ready for your own practice question. And as well, make sure you watch my full video lesson on this topic, which is gas laws. I've solved so many questions under this aspect and also on other laws. All right, get ready for your own practice question. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen. Okay, guys, here is your own practice question. So you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. It's very simple. Follow all the steps I gave to you to solve that previous question. You'll be able to solve this and provide the answer in the comment section. All right, thanks for watching.